Hey guys, it's Valley Von the Perfume Zwang. I'm back at you with another perfume video. I'm super excited. Today we're going to talk about some citrus fragrances. Hopefully where you are in the country, the weather's breaking in a good way. You're getting some warm weather, getting to see the sun. This past weekend, it was like the first time I feel like in ages that we actually got to sit outside and just hang out. And literally that like crisp, I felt the crisp from the sun on my skin. I was like, oh yes, she's burning. She's burning. She's going to be a golden biscuit pretty soon. So since we're welcoming that weather, spring is around the corner, hopefully here soon. Let's talk about some citrus fragrances, okay? But first, I want to let you guys know that you always have to treat yourself, okay? We want to make sure that your environment is just as beautiful as you smell. So I am back with another collab with my favorite, which happens to be Rose Forever. One of my favorite colors of all time, if not gold, which they're always sold out of, understandably, is orange. So now the girls have orange flowers. If, if you don't know about Rose Forever, let me make sure I don't drop all my stuff in anywhere because this is actually an acrylic case to where you can like pull it out and I have a bunch of fragrances in here, of course, because I have way too many, but this is actually a drawer where you can put your makeup, store things, it's see-through, it's super cute, very aesthetic, but it's from Rose Forever. And of course, all of these roses, they have so many different types of bouquets, really small ones. They have one rose all the way up to a huge circular square, whatever you want, any color. They have the colors for you, girl. And they have one of my favorite colors, which is orange. Lasts for up to a year, but I've had them for over a year. I've had, them, I think, some of them more than two years. So they say up to a year. Of course, you have to take care of them. Same way you do your fragrances. Don't have them outside. Girl, please don't put them outside, even though they're flowers. Don't put them in direct sunlight because they are in a chemical that preserves them for so long. And it won't interact well if you do that. Also, don't put any cleaning solutions. You just need to lightly dust it sometimes. But no cleaning solutions and they will last you a very long time. Again, I've had mine for over a year. So they promise up to a year, but you can have them a lot longer if you take care of them. Very, very cute. Again, you can store your things inside of here, which is always amazing for me. I always need more storage options. And this is just such a cute little color. I mean, look at that, girl. That's a bright orange, too. I was like, is it going to be a burnt orange, hideous, or is it going to be, you know, not so saturated? This is a beautiful saturated hue. And it made me think of citrus fragrances. If you want to check out the site, get yourself some flowers for your home, revamp your decor, go ahead, look below. I have an amazing discount code for you guys so you don't have to pay those prices because they can be a little bit pricey. So use the discount code, purchase it for yourself or someone's birthday anniversary. It literally, I think anyone would be so happy to have that beautiful gift. That's not like, you know, regular flowers. It's wonderful to get them, but then they're dead within a week. And you're like, oh, is it a waste of money? It was nice in the moment. These are going to actually last. So it, although they're a little bit pricey, it's worth it. Check them out below, ask me any questions, and let's hop right in. So we're talking about fruity, poppy, fun scents because we're getting into that mood. It's spring, summertime. The first one I want to mention is from one of my favorite brands. This is K.I. Lee. They dropped this a few months ago during the winter, but I'm sure they were anticipating this warm summer months just like we are. This is K.I. Lee Eden. This is Juicy Apple. It literally smells just like Juicy, crisp, my favorite Michigan apples, those juicy red apples. And this fragrance has juicy red apple, of course. It has wild berries as well. So that has even more fruity component. And then it rounds it out with like a very sexy, womanly floral because it has the jasmine flower in there, which is a white floral, very beautiful, great for spring, summer. It has lychee in there. So more of like a tropical, fruity scent again. And then vanilla flower and sensual musk. So even though this is a fun, fruity, playful fragrance, it definitely doesn't smell juvenile. It doesn't smell childish at all. It is so, so wearable, versatile. And I actually have a full review that you can check out. But yeah, really love this scent. Love the packaging. It's the beautiful ruby red packaging on there. And of course, all of their signature bottles are just stunning. Love that, love, love that color. It matches the color on my lips today, which I didn't do intentionally, but super, super cute. And I love the scent even more. For the projection and the performance, lasts about three to four hours on me, which is fine. And that's why I even say even more that it's gonna be better for the spring, summer, because in the cold winter months, it's a little bit too cold to wear a scent that isn't very powerful. This one has decent performance, but it's gonna be even better amplified when it's really hot out. So love this one. If you like an apple scent, if you used to like the DKNY, Be Delicious, but you wanna to graduate to something a little bit more sexy, grown woman, 
then this is definitely the fragrance for you. Actually, I don't know why I haven't been wearing her recently. I'm definitely going to put her back in my rotation because I think this is office friendly. I know a lot of you guys are heading back to the office. This is definitely office friendly, date night friendly. I really love that composition of the berries in there. Very much so juicy berry with the apple. Very beautiful scent. Okay, next. I don't know if they actually still have this fragrance out. Hopefully, I know they have the body mist in stores. It's just repackaged. But well, hopefully they still have the perfume too because I really did like this one from Bath & Body Works. So this is Sunshine Mimosa. I think they just launched this officially maybe two years ago. I want to say a year or two years ago. Um, but it's a very fun sparkly scent. If you like champagne toast but you want something that's even dialed up even more so on the citrus, on the fruity, then Sunshine Mimosa is the girl for you. For the notes, it has bright bubbly champagne. So it has that sparkly champagne kind of a scent. And then it also has fresh citrus. It smells very much so like zesty orange to me. Um, even I would say like some grapefruit in there. Like it's very zesty citrus, but it's appropriate for when it's very hot out or even like spring, summer, just getting ready for tropical vacations, all of that. Again, I don't know if they still have the actual EDP. They did have the perfume to go with it, but I know for sure they still have the body mist in that range in stores. I think it's a part of their like staple collection now. But if you like fruity scents, this is a great one to go to. And it just has that like energetic feel about it that put it on in the morning and you're like, okay, I'm ready to start my day. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. Um, so I really like these two, of course, layered together because they're the same scent. I would say the only difference is that in the EDP, it's just a little bit more, I feel like floral in there, maybe some muskiness, but definitely heavy on the citrus, of course. Heavy on the mimosa. Mm, I definitely would love to do bottomless mimosas and a brunch girl do you guys like bottomless mimosas and a brunch i haven't done that in so long recently when i was out i saw a place that they just opened near me that does that i'm like okay girl i have to do that and have just like a wavy sunday but like when because like i'm gonna be in the church and then what after church go get lit like i don't know what kind of sunday that would be but maybe we'll do it on a saturday and then go repent on the sunday <laughs> like, next we have a brand you probably haven't heard of or if you've been following me for a long time, I did mention them previously, but I'm bringing them back because this is probably one of the best zesty citrus fragrances out there. It smells so realistic and it's great for layering or adding that citrus component to other fragrances. So this is from a brand called Precious Liquid. It is created by a husband and wife duo. Um, she's a literal most beautiful woman ever, model, supermodel. And this fragrance is called Mandarin. It's an EDP, it's a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. And the, the notes that it has in there is that it has rhubarb, which is usually like a very tart, fruity scent. Um, it has rosemary, has thyme, myrrh, cedar. That's in this scent? And clean musk. Okay. Where's the... Oh, sorry. At the top it says mandarin. But it's combined with those other things. But pretty much to me, it literally just smells like mandarin. Um, the performance is really, really good. Really, really, really good. And again, it smells just like if you were to peel an orange, you know, when you first peel an orange and the zest that's like spraying everywhere and getting you in the eyes, you're blinded for a little bit, but it's worth it because then you get to eat the flesh of that fruit. That's exactly what this smells like. Really, really like this brand. Yeah, it almost smells like kind of like Neroli to me. It's giving Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It's definitely very unisex to me. Whenever something's very citrus, zesty, I do feel like it smells a little bit more, you know, masculine. But I definitely feel like this is unisex. And again, if you have any kind of sense that you want to make it even more summery, you want to add that zesty orange mandarin component, this is definitely a great fragrance to do that with. And again, it's called Precious Liquid. Mandarin, all of their fragrances are top tier. Honestly, they have rose, they have fresh, they have sweet, they have everything, but this is a very unique fragrance that I haven't smelled anything like it. So definitely check them out. Okay, next we have two affordable fragrances. So this one is from, actually it's called Good Chemistry. They just rebranded their packaging. So if you don't recognize them, that's why they're sold at Target. And of course, you know, it looks like a little, uh, something that you find in a lab because they're called Good Chemistry. Cute. But this is one of their most popular scents, if not the most popular. This one is called Sugar Berry. And I'm sure you can guess by the name, what does it smell like? Sugary berries. It smells very watery, almost smells like a Gatorade. You know, that kind of like watery, fruity kind of a scent. But it's very wearable. 
smells like almost like a berry shampoo. You know, the shampoos by like herbal essences where it kind of just smells like a fruity smoothie, but soapy at the same time. That's kind of what this smells like. It does smell a little bit juvenile, kind of more so for, I would say, a younger audience. But it's an easy wear. And I feel like during the summertime, when you don't want something that's super strong or you're going to be out all day sweating, you know, you don't want something that's like a very strong scent in the summer because when the heat hits it, it's going to be even more intense. This is a great one to look for. And especially if you like berry scents, this is a wonderful one. Kind of smells like a mix between strawberries, red berries, all sorts of berries. So definitely check this one out, and especially if you like a subtly sweet scent. Next, this is, ooh, this fragrance is older than dirt, but we all know it and we all love it, right? So this is Fantasy by Miss Brittany. Lord bless that woman. But anyways, this is Fantasy. Um, this is the OG, I would say, of celebrity fragrances. It has that cupcake in there, like a white chocolate cupcake. So it has the fruity component, but then also has the sweet side. It has the kiwi as well, which is very interesting. I don't know if I've seen kiwi in any other fragrance, but this scent is so distinctive. It literally leads the pack when it comes to that wearable fruity sweet DNA when it comes to scents. So had to put this one in there. Definitely citrus, fun, playful and get you in the mindset of like, you know, I'm just going out and having a good time for spring, summer. So love this one. You can find it anywhere. Literally, I've seen it for $5. Like don't pay a lot of money for it. It's been around for so long to where you can definitely snag it for a great deal. So add this to your collection if it sounds like something that you want to just grab and go and spray, but don't pay a lot of money for it, please. Okay, the last one that we have is actually going to be also very popular. Love this entire range that they have this is from versace this is the yellow diamond intense lemon is very difficult i feel like to do in fragrances because it kind of goes back to that neroli or zesty whenever i smell zesty fragrances then i automatically think then i automatically think that it's masculine this is on the other side and it's because they combine it with those white florals so i really 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 love this fragrance Definitely smells lemony, zesty, citrus, but it also smells very womanly because of the floral components in this scent. So really, really love this one. I feel like it's only appropriate for warm weather. So that's why I like reserve her every year only to rock when it's hot outside. Love her. And this is Versace Yellow Diamond Intense. If you're wondering if you should get the original one, which is Yellow Diamond, it's a little bit lighter or the Intense. I do have a video that breaks down the differences so you can decide which one's best for you. But those are the citrus fragrances that I have in my collection that I'm excited to wear now that we finally have nice weather. Let me know if you try any of those fragrances. What do you think about them? Also, what would you add to the list? What are some really amazing citrus fragrances in your collection? Be sure to look below and look for that discount code for Rose Forever bouquets because they are literally so beautiful. They just light up your entire place and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.